will discuss an important feature in FACTAC system that is SLA dashboard. SLA stands for service level agreement. So today all the facility companies or IFM companies go to the contract from the clients based on the SLA. So more than 90% contracts are SLA driven. So in FACTAC, uh, when you use FACTAC system, you can track and monitor your SLA on real time basis. So uh, you can see here, one chart is there, like uh, all the, whatever SLA we have, we can configure in the system and that SLA will be visible or insights will be visible on the dashboard itself. Like for example, this is PPM in-house SLA. Suppose we have an agreement like all the PPM in-house cannot be delayed more than like say two days. Suppose it is a weekly PPM in-house. So that schedule cannot be delayed more than two days. So we can add that in a dashboard component and we can see the comp tracked in the latest. Okay. So you can see here, missed SLA are 13 uh, that are red and met SLA 5 and SLA on time 1. So SLA on time means uh, the SLOs, the work orders which are open, but their time has not passed. Missed SLA are those work orders which has been escalated. So whatever the time we define, that time has passed. So that's why they have in red. And green one are the those, uh, those work orders which you have completed before on time, on or before time. Okay. So this is the crux of this chart. And like that we can add multiple charts. We can add the chart at, at asset level like UPS SLA or HVAC SLA. Okay, we can add that chart. Now, or we can uh, track the SLA based on the category of the work orders. So this is the basics of the chart. Now I will show how we can add this uh, chart in our uh, fact tech dashboard. Okay, so we click on the dashboard. When we click on the dashboard, there are different dashboards. So I am just going to the edit. In, in your case, if you are creating first time, you can create a new dashboard also by clicking this plus create new dashboard. Okay. So for now, for make it easy, I am just uh, adding the new component in this existing dashboard. So in the dashboard, we have to go to the dashboard. Okay. So we need to select dashboard as a module. In that there will be SLA dashboard. We need to select that and click on this value. So moment we click a new SLA monitoring heading will be coming here, which has all the categories. So what we need to do is we need to click on the setting. So here two options will come. One is group by asset. Second is group by PPM category. So for now I am just creating an SLA for a asset. Like suppose we have an STP asset. So I am just filtering on STP. So STP, this I am selecting. So for this SLA will happen and I'm also adding the title so that it is very clear STP SLA. Okay. So this I added. Currently no data is there. Okay. Uh, so I just save it. And even I can move this uh, dashboard component to like any place also if I need to make it at the first level. So I just need to go to the edit and move this to first. Okay. And save it. So now you can see STP has moved to the first. Currently there is no data because we don't have any work order uh, in escalation matrix and that will be there. So what I'll do, I will just open that and I will create a work order for STP. Okay, this was STP 102. Fine, so what I'll do, I have just configured some uh, schedules for STP 102 and for that I have added into the escalation also. Okay, so uh, to cover the two SLA, that is that comes through the escalation matrix. So for whatever job we want to create a SLA, we need to select from here like daily maintenance STP 102 IO selected. So that is of category PPM in-house, fine. So the, that is, this is where we need to define the escalation level. So that is the base for the SLA timeline you can say. Okay. Let's say one day is the escalation. So 
in one day it escalation will happen so if you want to want to create a like for monthly it is a five day we can create a new level new escalation level from here like five day escalations and we can map that schedules to this okay let i just create a escalation level <coughs> so type is like pm for pm i'm creating name here i'm taking five five day escalation save it now i can define here uh, level one say level one is like five day and i can define the email id also id also where i need to assign it okay so this is the simple like how we can define make it active and then we can select the pm schedules let's say suppose there is a uh, some schedules which are uh, monthly okay. so hvac monthly so five day we can define and we can link this so this is simple so this is the how we define the sla escalations okay base from this only system will take that data like after five day that will be uh, that sla will move to the uh, basically in the mist after five days for this that's back monthly okay. so for now moving again to the escalation uh, sla dashboard okay so now what i will do i will just make it stp 102 because that we already have so instead of stp stp 102 will change it in setting 02 select it okay stp 102 i am renaming it so that it is very clear so now you can see data has come because for stp 102 we have the work orders save it so this is how very easy it is so for stp all the work orders are on time okay this is a clickable also we can see which work orders are completed so you can see both work order are completed here okay. thank you very much